Coming up in this show, I'm going to bring you my opening comments on the markets. Arby has a sample of a trade idea looking at Mexico, where there's a strong pattern. And I'm going to give you a hot minute in Bitcoin, a very resilient market. You'll see our new market condition monitor. This is an unbelievable introductory price on this great app. And I'll give you my short-term analysis on the S&P 500. Well, I'm going to the city and I'm going to do a city show. And I know all my fans want to learn how to make some dough. I've been cruising up and down for trades each and every night. And with my iPhone chatting, I know we're going to get it just right. I'll get inside your mind. Hi, I'm Steve Miller, call me Slim, and this is the S Slim Market Week. It's a look back at what happened in the financial markets in the past week, and to look forward to what might happen in coming weeks, and hopefully lots of great ideas and opportunities for you throughout this show. Well, the stock market's tone improved last week as investors' fear over banking issues dissipated, and banks bounced, and tax led the rising stock indexes. That brought the Nasdaq up 20% from its October lows, leading many analysts to declare a bull market. Of course, we've been talking about this being a bull market year since the end of last year. Intel uh, and uh, Micron, they surged as they led the semiconductors up. Micron jumped on its earnings and analysts upgraded it. Uh, and uh, one of their executives uh, called uh, it a bottom to that market. And uh, the Intel, Intel surge was on its investor day. It was up 7% on the day. And it gave uh, a unbelievable performance for the month. In fact, its best month. In 22 years. So those techs really led the NASDAQ, which led the market. That cooled off on Friday, however, as China came out with some negative trade comments. There was not a lot of data this week to move the markets, except maybe on Friday, where the Fed's favorite inflation indicator, the PCE, came out in line maybe a tenth better than expected. And that sent the indexes up, and they have been holding up here all day. And overall, a very solidly, a solid week for the stock market bulls, and most commodity markets were also firm. For the stock market to be able to continue its rise, the leadership will have to change. Right now, it's being led by uh, very, I would say, overpriced uh, and very, a very narrow leadership in those tech stocks and the fangs. That would have to change. NASDAQ has been the strongest and Russell the weakest. That's because of the issues with the small banks. But uh, with all the bailouts that have gone on from the government, the backstops to the investor, to the uh, depositors, not the investors, uh, that really helped the banks. And things seem to be changing here on Friday. To, to get a, a, another significant impulse upward in the market, the Russell will have to start to perform better. And it is doing that here on Friday. And what that would mean was that sentiment about the financials would improve. So with uh, today looking at this market with the uh, the Russell doing better than uh, going up more than twice as quickly as we're seeing in the other indexes, that does seem to be changing and for the better. Separately, the background news for the dollar is bad and maybe dire as the BRIC countries align to overthrow the reserve status of the U.S. dollar and its economic dominance. I think this will be a big story later in the year, and I'm going to talk a lot about that breakdown. I'll talk about what that level is in a moment. And we saw gold moving up and remaining very strong, and that's as these countries have been buying a lot of gold and silver in what I believe is setting up for a big dollar problem. And I think when that dollar breaks, gold will surge and we're going to see some startling new highs. When that happens, the stock market could be in bad shape again. For now, outside of a minor downside squall, which we expect to see in the next couple of days, 
we think that the stock market will continue to move up and our target which is around 4300 we'll call it 4250 to 4300 on the s p 500 is very likely to be hit what we have what we believe we have uh right now is a cyclical mini bull market going on that lives inside of a secular bear market if you want to know what all that means then make sure you watch our special report at the which we published at the end of the year which is on youtube in two parts and uh, you'll get an idea what we mean in the meantime we remain positive on this stock market for the week, a stock's very strong. S and P 500, Nasdaq, they're up about two and a half percent on the week. But the Russell explodes, especially here on Friday, up about two percent as the banks do rebound. So the Russell's about six percent up on the week, in a very good uh, performance. And as I said, very important to being able to extend this rally in the stock market. The bond market, 30s down about one and a half points as the 10-year yields pick up 14 basis points. We do not think it's going to keep going as far as yields go, and we think yields are going to fall again very soon. Gold market, it's hanging around that 2000 level. It's up about $14 on the week. Silver continues to be super strong, gaining about 78 cents on the week. Dollar down four tenths. And beware the 100.82 level. If it gets down to that level and then starts to break, you know it's a BRICS attack. If you don't know what BRICS attack means, you better learn, because I think that's coming. Oil gained 540 on the week, and that is a great performance as it moves, however, up into our sell zone. And we don't think there's a lot more room for the oil market uh, coming up. Make sure that you go to our website, AskLim.com, and explore that over there. Uh, if you're new, get acquainted. Become a Level 1 member. It's a great deal that we have now, just $45 for three months, and you get information from us on the indexes every single day. Uh, on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell. You know when we post videos. And do like this video. Give it a thumbs up. On Twitter, follow us at AskSlim. And any questions that you have on our memberships, uh, our huge offerings of education and analysis, and our new MCM Market Condition Monitor app, uh, please do write to Matt at AskSlim.com. This is a preview of a trade idea, and we're going to show you Mexico. RV brings you this analysis, and this is a sample of what he does for our members, level three and four, as he brings these great uh, trade ideas regularly. So, uh, RV, show them what you have this week on Mexico. This is an Ask Slim trade idea video walkthrough for an intermediate term long in the EWW, that is the iShares Mexico ETF. Let's go ahead and pull up the weekly chart. And what's happening here is that we are in an intermediate term rising phase on this longer cycle and have just now formed this key minor low right there. And this cycle is now pushing on the upside. That is why we actually saw this sell off to form that low and then moved into that rising phase right there. So highest odds are we would move through this old high here at 60.38 and then rally up to this area here at the 127.2 fib extension at 62.83 so this is a really positive pattern and note that this sell-off right here basically retested that old breakout area perfectly and then turned up so this is really a very bullish chart here in the eww if we go ahead now and shift over to the daily chart and what we see here in the EWW is a new short-term rising phase that is clearly underway. We now have a bullish slim ribbon. We are looking for higher lows and higher highs and an overall rally into this short-term FIB target zone from 63.04 up to 65.43. The zone on the downside that we are looking for this underlying to hold in is 57.45 to 56.22 and we don't want to see it through this 78.6 fib at 55.35 so the theoretical risk on this idea comes in around 206 and we are looking for a move of at least 570 on the upside so quite favorable uh, there uh, in terms of a risk versus reward here in the eww so that is our overview uh, for the iShares 
Mexico ETF acting beautifully on the upside and are just looking for a higher low to form and then for a move to new highs uh, here in the EWW. If you are interested in getting more of our trade ideas, definitely check out a level three or four membership at Ask Slim. Uh, we have been doing these ideas for just about eight years now, and they have uh, certainly added value uh, for our members to help them learn our overall methodology. Thanks again, and I hope you all have a great day. Great job on that. This is a hot minute in Bitcoin. Well, in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, we spent actually years being very negative and saw that market plunge. Now things have improved and we had spotted that over the past weeks. And this is really looking much better. Let's take a quick look here as we look at the weekly pattern. What we had seen was what we call here a basing pattern. In other words, this cycle, and you can see right in there, whereas it was appointed to a low here in February, March, and that's where it came right in here in that period of risk and then moved up once it got above that level around 25,300. It was off to the races. You see this upward turn in our reversal scout showing that upward momentum and some resistance levels right over here targets right around 30,000 and then way up here at 36,000 that's possible getting out here into around the mid-year period in the Bitcoin market a quick look at the short term and you can see what we're looking at in here is maybe a bit more of a choppy situation as it gets up here towards those resistances that we showed on the weekly chart looking for some minor pullbacks in here maybe down under 27,000 and then begin to move up again this resistance up over here uh 31,000 32,000 right there which we could get to see sometime in April then some pullbacks and overall this period out over here into May June is where it could pop up into the 36,000 area overall a much more bullish situation that we see in here and it's notable to say that because when you saw the coinbase situation and the CFTC going after them that didn't affect this at all positive momentum as you could see right over there as you look at that slim ribbon the slim ribbon po giving you the upward resumption signal right here which tells you not a lot of pullback in here and likely a positive market for some time to come that's a look at bitcoin in this hot minute Stock market analysis and projections on the S&P 500. Please do look at this important information. Read over this slide and you'll get an idea of how we present in the markets. Really important to look at this. All right, stock market analysis. I just want to remind you that our new application, the Market Condition Monitor MCM, is available now. Uh, introductory pricing if you're a member level one to four if you're not a member become a level one member for 45 bucks and then you will be able to subscribe to this it is a state-of-the-art planning tool assist you in catching the impulse moves in the indexes ETFs and stocks and most importantly help you stay on the right side avoid being on the wrong side of those momentum trends there's special settings for all trading styles and include uh, includes our new market condition monitor uh, mobile version uh, that is really really clear when you put it on your mobile device current members just go to membership options and click uh, 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 the uh, click to sign up and uh, you can click learn more on the home page also if you want to get more information there uh, not a member uh, just join and get all the uh, slim benefits and this special 50% off on the market condition monitor yes only $17.50 a month and you're going to be locked in at this price for six months. This will give you a great, great way to really uh, be on the right side of those moves and really have a good feel for market condition. If you're brand new, do, do, do click that Learn More button on the top of the AskSlim.com website, and you'll be able to uh, learn about this great application. And Matt, is uh, if, you're, if you're watching over the weekend uh, on the clip on the stock market, Matt is going to be showing you a preview of the market condition monitor uh, on the clip that comes comes out uh, over the weekend on Saturday or Sunday. So I think you'll love the information and see this great app. Only $17.50 a month for the MCM. All right, stock market, short-term view. 
we're going to give you a look here at the stock market uh, as we look at the S&P 500 SPX. Uh, let me just get to the SPX for you right over here on the daily chart and uh that's the weekly so you get a little look at that and you see this rise right in here uh that came off of the low that we were looking for but let's take a look at the daily and really look at that in some depth so what we had looked at was uh the important levels in here that we thought would be declaring uh that important low had been made and now we moved up through that so this level right over here uh, which was at around 4048. Uh, that what we said was the bottom warning level. And that got through that uh, here on Thursday. And now it gets up here to the bottom confirming level at 40. 85 so we're right up over there it is following this upper track as you can see right in here and uh, that resistance there is around 4110 we think uh, that this area will get it to stall for a little bit you see this little minor cycle right in here that should bring a pullback here in the next couple days but we don't think it's going to last long we talked about this on uh, our live event last Tuesday and uh, said that it was likely there was going to be some kind of a minor pullback in here but with this rally extending out and you see this green arrow and the momentum conditions turning positive it's likely to be only a minor little blip on the downside in here and then moving up again so our near-term target right now is around 4110 before we get up uh, into this uh, period where there could be a little bit of a steeper correction where we think it would probably fall under 4,000 over here into the April time frame before beginning to move up again and starting that journey up to the 4,250, 4,300 area that we're looking for as a high for this year. So overall, this pattern, very positive. Uh, it has been uh, just super strong and looking for only some minor pullbacks right now further uh, upside movement and then maybe a little bit more of a dip into that April time frame uh, before it then begins to move up sharply again that is a look at the daily chart in the S&P 500 and uh, overall the indexes uh, are in I think very good shape with the Russell now beginning to improve and likely going to give uh, maybe some good leadership in the stock market moving to the upside. Uh, we would look for NASDAQ to give uh, some negative relative strength to the Russell and maybe the S&P 500 as it began to lead the rally on the upside uh, and now likely money to start coming out of what I think are overpriced FANG stocks uh, and these techs uh, into some of these stocks that are looking much cheaper right now. Positive conditions, certainly. Momentum conditions, very strong. Minor dips and then continued upward movement in the stock market. That is a look at the stock market for today. I want to remind you to please go to our website and explore. Uh, become a member. A uh, level one will get you uh, information on the indexes every single day. On YouTube, subscribe to our channel. Click the notification bell. And do like this video. Watch our member videos in the playlist to get good ideas about what we present. On Twitter, follow us at AskSlim. And for anything that you need to know about our content, please write to me at asslim.com. That's it for today, uh, and I want you to be incredibly careful because it's so crazy out there, and I'm always wishing you great trading. Well, I'm going to the city, and I'm going to do a city.